Hey there guys, what's cracking? My name is Chris and this is my channel Houseplant Therapy where I consider houseplants to be a therapeutic lifestyle uh, choice. Uh, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I went through just kind of like this mini depressive state. Winter is on its way and just like life is happening and it's just like, hey! but I'm back, I promise. So life is better. Today's video is on Cebu Pothos Plant Care. The Cebu Pothos is a super, super popular plant in this hobby. And there's a reason. It's because this plant is absolutely awesome. We love it. Let's get into it. Okay, okay, okay. Before we start though, guys, I wanna show you a couple cool things. So if you guys follow the channel, um, you guys know that we are we worked on moving all the plants out of the porch just because we don't heat this in the winter. But we also brought all those plants inside here and we've been working on this little project room. Maybe you'd call it like a house plant theater room. There's a 70 inch TV right there. It's actually pretty crazy. Um, we're in the process of hanging up some grow lights from the ceiling. It's gonna be really fun in here, really cool. I also, this is like my office, it's a hot mess in here. One more quick thing, guys. If you guys like fish tanks, I also have a YouTube channel on fish tanks, Palmer Aquatics. We just hit 60,000 subscribers. So if you also like fish tanks, consider subscribing to that. So today's video though, how to take care of the Cebu Pothos in four easy steps. I'm gonna go through here. First of all though, let's talk about this magnificent plant. This is the Cebu Pothos and it gets its name from uh, the area where it's from. I think it's the city of Cebu or the islands of Cebu in the Philippines. Not for sure on that, but obviously the blue coloration like there's no way of getting around not seeing that a lot of these other plants are like super green like that neon pothos right there when you compare this Cebu blue to it it's absolutely crazy okay 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 number one on the list the most important variable when it comes to taking care of the Cebu pothos is lighting as you can see pothos in general love lighting a lot of people screw this up Pothos kind of get a rap, a bad rap, and the hobby is being low light plants. But I will promise you, Pothos love lighting. Look at all these Pothos right here. This is a 125 gallon aquarium, by the way, and we literally just put a shop LED light up there, and the, these Pothos are eating it up. Look at these. The leaves are literally right next to the light. This light is so bright. So what this tells us is that lighting is huge when it comes to these Pothos plants. And this plant is actually from the same genus family of the golden pothos and golden pothos super easy to take care of but they love light so what you want to do is go into your household and maybe you just brought this plant home you're going to want to find a window maybe a south facing window not a huge deal um but put it near the window because this plant loves medium to high indirect light when i say indirect i don't mean the actual beams of the sun on the light because that'll burn this plant up really quick. We want medium to high indirect lighting. That means next to the window. As you can see here on the plant shelf, they're not super next to the window, but close to the window. The second most important variable is watering and watering schedules. So what we know about pothos plants is they actually sort of like to be neglected. So uh, we water this plant on average once every two to three weeks. You gotta be careful though, because if you're a new plant keeper, it's very easy to kind of micro obsess about your new house plant and to water it too often. And what happens is, this is a, a huge, this, this is like a, a snowball effect. If the plant isn't getting a lot of sun, what happens is the dirt is not drying out completely. And maybe what happens is you water it too close together in intervals, in time intervals, and then it doesn't give a chance for the soil to dry out. This soil needs to dry out. That's a huge deal for pothos plants. So just try to be careful, tread lightly, try not to overwater your plant. It's really easy to do. These plants, uh, I tell people, just sort of neglect them when it comes to watering. A lot of times we might water our plants once a month and uh, that depends on where you live. You know, it's obviously gonna be different if you live in Florida and you get tons of high indirect lighting versus if you live in Minnesota, like we do, where the sun, the winters, the sun is it is high in the sky. We get less amounts of sun. We got to rely on a lot of grow lights. It sucks if you're in the upper Midwest, honestly. So just be careful and try not to overwater these plants because it's really easy to do. All right, guys, so there's a train going by. Uh, we live really close to the train tracks. So if you hear that, I apologize. 
um we have removed all the house plants out of here like i said but guys the third most important variable when it comes to taking care of the Cebu pothos is to give the plant something to crawl on because this plant actually has like aerial roots. These roots right here prefer to stick to things. And a lot of people don't know this. Uh, we use moss poles. That's the most common thing to use. Um, if I come over here, this pothos plant right here does the same thing. As you can see, it's throwing these aerial roots and what it likes to do is they like to stick into wood and stuff. And they will actually kind of like, uh, these aerial roots will kind of like absorb into the cells of the wood. And what happens is the plant prefers to do this. It prefers to climb up. So give it a moss pole if possible. Obviously you can, uh, what's called trail the plant where the plant kind of grows down. As you can see, it grows down, but it hates doing this, guys, I promise you this. If you just let it trail down, see all the leaves are, are, are going down, but they're like reaching up to the light? That's because it's going against the grain of what it wants to do. By the way, this is a test. This is a fish aquarium light that I'm testing as a grow light. And we just put it up there, it's working. So that just goes to show you, you don't need to buy expensive grow lights. Literally, that's like a $16 aquarium light, okay side rent so give it something to kind of grow on Ooh, i gotta cool down a little bit a little bit of anxiety today guys maybe it was the energy drink i drank so the fourth most important step when it comes to the pothos plants is to give these plants a really well draining soil and what i want to show you here is um this plant right here taking a look at the soil this is a spider plant but it doesn't really matter but you want to do a well you want a well draining soil for the house plant so you want to get a regular house or a, okay learn how to speak chris you want regular potting soil mix and you want to mix in some orchid bark and some perlite because what happens is this helps the plant drain and pot those plants the roots don't like to be submerged and sitting in water that's to say with like almost all of these house plants so um the soil mix Pretty, pretty big deal, but it's fourth on the list. Honestly though, guys, the Cebu plant care is super, super easy. Uh, I would literally just tell you to kind of buy this plant and neglect it for a while, just because a lot of new plant keepers, they overwater it, they overthink it. Go get yourself some other house plants. That way you have time to neglect that new one already. No, I don't know. But literally guys, just try not to think about it and just let the plant grow. Give it adequate amounts of light. Don't overwater it give it something to crawl into like a moss pole and uh, it's gonna do great. Check out this one here, super easy to propagate. Um, I do have a video on how to propagate this plant specifically. So I'll try to remember to throw that in the description box. Well guys, that about wraps it up. Hopefully this video helped you learn how to take care of the Cebu pothos plant. Uh, if I have propagation videos, all kinds of videos on this plant. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. Um, it really means a lot to me. I love hearing from you guys. Hit up the comment section. I love you all. Please subscribe, Sebu Papo's Plant Care.